I've gone ahead and I've gone ahead and warped right back to the Red Hall of Cages. We're gonna go right now. We're gonna head back across the uh, that big hole and go to the dome. Cause I think we've kind of hit a dead end with the mire of stench. I, I think that beyond there is like the fort beyond the whatever it's called. But like I don't, I don't think there's any more bosses in that direction. It's just the connective tissue that connects the far left and the far right parts of the map to each other to make the whole world loop on itself. And uh, I can e I can just as easily go there from behind the ziggurat. So there's I don't I don't feel much reason to go there right now. So we'll head back up towards the. Uh, see, I can't do that from here, can I? Right, I need I need like a dash. I need dash and light bridge to do that. So I have I need I have multiple brands I need to get before I can go up to the floating castle. Hello. I should probably just equip a crappy weapon. Like the sword. Aha. There we go. Now I've got my option ready. Just so I can check chests that I don't that I don't trust. Cuz I kind of didn't give myself an option. What is down here? Besides ever-present darkness, apparently. Oh. It looks like a shopkeeper, but he's dead. Oh, yep, there's one of the many locations where there's a wall I can't go through yet. Can I do anything down here? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Yep. Into the dome we go. I think the dome gave me some trouble the first time around. It might be satisfying to play as a spellcaster, because I think this might have been one of the places that had a bunch of floaty people that gave me problems. Yeah, I think I remember floating enemies that were a problem in the upper areas of this area. The file of Undersight. I'm trying to remember if it's this place or the Ziggurat that has two enemies in its upper area. Because I know that I know there's the giant enemy below the Ziggurat, but I think this character might have a... Yeah, I think this, I think this, this building... Yeah, behind this door is a boss, but I think there might also be a boss on the roof? Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway. Oh, well. I chose the right time to get into that idea. It was one of our first mimics. You dead? There we go. The stone alchemist. Worth it. Quickly. Oh, quickly. Alright, I think there might be a... Yep, there's one right here. Handy. Can I just claim a right... No, I, have to, I do have to manually equip it. It's a pain in the ass, but it makes sense because if you did have multiple, if you were playing with multiple creeds, you would suddenly be very interested in all the other ones you could use. It does, you do kind of feel incentivized not to change creeds in this kind of situation. When you keep uh, progressing in a way where one of them's taking more and more control over the area. Uh, just a little bit more salt that I could level up, but I don't have any on me right now. I'll just try not to die. Oh yeah, I remember dying a lot around here. Oh, it's partly because the, in the the invisible enemies, right? Oh, it's these flying bastards. I remember these. They suck. The archers. Oh, that's so satisfying. Take that, game. You know what you did. Huh. Got it. Oh, more undersight files. Nice. Let's go level up real quick since that just, that just put me over the edge. Ta-da! How are we doing on tree of skill? Am I just working towards magic right now, or was I waiting for something? Oh yeah, there's a file. Bam. That's one more for me, that's totally worth it then. Now I have seven mana recovery items. Handy. Alright. So yeah, I remember, be I remember being annoyed here because of these bastards right here. Oop. Nope. Oh, he got me. Because those guys are- those guys are just a pain, honestly. Oop. Here we go. It's mostly the fact that as a melee character who could mostly only attack in- Oh! Since I can mostly only attack in a straight line, it was a problem. Oh! Oh, they're all dead, so that was a little wasteful. It's fine, it's fine, I'll be fine. If I can get through here in one run, we're, we're golden. Oh! Good job, me. Wasting my precious... Uh... Time here with the... Here we go. Quickly. Hit. Hit. Yeah! Got it. Wasting my oversight. Foil! Ah. There that goes again. Oh, uh, yeah. Patience. Patience. Never been a fan of disappearing platforms in video games. Damn it. No. Why me? Oh! They've come to- They've come to play! Isn't that nice of them? 
My favorite part is when they try to murder me. All right, they're down. Sadness. There we go. Yeah, never been a fan of timed platforms in video games. Can I please grab this time? There we go. I knew you were there. You swiped at me. Gave away your presence. I see you up there. Not fooling nobody. There we go. Grab it! Oh, there we go. I can't help it. I still mix up the left, the difference between forward and left when it comes to that, that kind of control. Like, do I press forward or sideways? Crap! For, I mean, forward or up? Forward or up? And I panic and just start switching both, pressing both of them a lot. It's like, one of these has to be right, damn it! And then sometimes I fall. Scorpion. And it's one of those things where I can, I can carefully confirm what the truth is, but then it'll get flipped in my head before long just because some time passes or I play some other games in between and I'm like, crap, how does platform work in this game again? All right, we know they're invisible again, so we'll just chug one of these. And... Nope, not quite. You deserve this pain. Oh, look at that big bad guy. Oh, that's tragedy. Can I reach him with that one? Oh, I'm gonna have to join him down there. Gross. He's gonna get germs on me. Alright, can I go down? Not not from here. Not safe. Oh, he's dead already. I was all ready to dodge his big swing. I wonder how this boss is which one which boss is it? Is it the Inquisitor? I'm blanking on which boss it is. Ooh, gotta be careful here. Oh no! Ooh, what the fuck? Speedrunning strat, apparently. So apparently if you fall on a ledge in a capacity that lets you grab it, that nullifies any damage from happening? Meaning you just get to fall for free. So I can sneak up behind where I was. That's where I was gonna land. Oh! I guess it wore off. Rude. Oop. That was lucky. I should have been dead right there, but I fell. And magically survived. Because I, I landed by grabbing a ledge. So we learned something new today. C congratulations, me. Genius me. Oh, no. No! Quickly heal. No! <laughs> no! No! Quickly! God damn it! <laughs> The act of trying to chug it itself takes time. And now I also need to manage my mana. Huh. Die! I'll be happy to be rid of this area soon. Just to be done with the invisible enemies. I thought that was an enemy down there, but it was just the him, him dying. Hey! Huh. We're back. The Golden Stone Ring. I will gladly rest here. What does a Golden Stone Ring do? Do-do-do! Increases your defense to lightning damage. Does this guy do lightning damage? I don't remember, really. That's, I have a slow heal over time ring, so that's probably not very important. So I might as well put the uh, lightning one on and see if it affects anything. Can't can't level up here, but we have uh, there's some experience to be spent. Fuck your general direction! Melt him! Melt him! Melt him! Yep, this guy's still durable as all hell. Hup. There we go. He was a crazy one to fight in melee, because it just it felt like he wouldn't die. Like, it felt like he was just never going to die, period. Alright, big boss fight, how are we doing? Is this the Inquisitor? I forget for sure. Oh yeah, this is the Inquisitor. I just, I melted him with poison, if I remember correctly, and he went down shockingly fast. That was the, I think that might have been the first case of like, wow, that works, huh? Oop. So don't mind me while I continue to once again beat him in a cheap way. <laughs> By shooting fireballs and lightning at him until he dies abruptly like that. <laughs> at this rate, it'll take me a third playthrough to find out what it feels like to fight that boss one-on-one -on -one with normal melee weapons. For the legit challenge. Although I've never heard anyone talk about him being a hard boss, so I get the feeling that no matter how you fight him, he's probably not the toughest thing in the world. But, uh... Oh! 
But I've basically not had to fight him so far. Uh-oh. Oh, cool. Bladder saved me from damage. All right, Inquisitor down. That was definitely less of a heartache. Oops, there's probably something up there. Let's grab this real quick. That was definitely less of a heartache as a uh, ranged character than it was as a melee character back when I first did it. Uh, I think we can go up from him for more levels, so let's go ahead and visit our shrine first for leveling up. Hit. There we go. Oh yeah, we should have a few levels of stuff, I think. Yep, three levels. Get that shit spent. Relatively low effort for three levels, right? Alright, so, we have level five channeler. Level four magic. Where's level five magic? I should work my way towards that. I might be blind. Am I blind? Wait, does level five magic exist? It might not exist. I don't see any more books to buy around here. Yeah, maybe there's no level five magic? It's not gonna be in over here because this is a whole different classification of items altogether. So that'd be really weird. So it's not gonna be there. All right, I'll just look for consumables then. Any more vials down here? No? Let's make our way towards the poultice and vial in the middle then. Just start buying everything along the, will on the way. There we go. And soon we'll have one more of each of those too. That just seems like a smart thing to maximize, is how many recovery items of every kind you have available to yourself. Ow. I'll walk it off. I'll walk it off. Let's go ahead and put on our reveal potion. What is that? Pitch fire. Yeah, I don't think I'm, I don't think I need fire bombs in my hot bar right now. Let's see. Oop. A few ladder problems. Hey, buddy. Who is a nightmare floating Japanese horror girl? You grind something up there, lady? Ah, uh, Can't quite reach it, but I don't see anything there for them to guard, so I'm just gonna move on. They're being weird. Alright, so before I can do anything truly useful, I need to get the ability to walk on those clouds. So let's get that unlocked. Could you just, like, melt or something? That'd be swell. Aha! Ooh, shit. I'm like, I'll exploit their, their weak spot while they're in the middle of an attack. It worked in some ways, and, and less than others. Come on over here, buddy. It's really comfy. Look at him melting. Yay! You can't block fire. Not forever. Aw, oh, no items. Alright. Hit. Elevator of shortcuttiness. Um, that might have been actually really good for me getting my- Whoop! Yeah! I think I did that last time. <laughs> Leaving the elevator there probably would have made it easier to get back up. Although it might have been made, made it, it might have made it harder to go down. Why, hello, my previous corpse. Oh, well, that's anticlimactic. I didn't really want to join on the platform that much. Melt, melt! Ah! Ah! These things are annoying. They don't die. There we go. I, w I wonder if they buffed them, or if that's because I'm a spellcaster. I've just been assuming so far that's because I'm a spellcaster, but they could have been buffed. Right. Time this very carefully. Oh, not like that, though. There we go. Right. Oh, it's a stone guide. Probably not worth the death. Hey, buddy. Ooh, so much level. Oh, wait, that's just behind that guy. So this didn't really take me in. Oh, I know it does take me somewhere because I couldn't go up there before. That makes sense. I was like, what did I unlock here? But yeah, I couldn't go any higher before. So this part's new. And might be a new boss? I forget. What are you saying to me? Warning birds monster here. What? Is it a... It is a boss fight immediately. Wow, they are back to... Oh, it's the thing that looks like some sort of chimera. I remember this guy. Huh. Yeah, surprisingly quick boss fights here. The third land. Oh, this guy gave me so much trouble as a melee character. This will be satisfying, unless he still has trouble for me. Ow. Cut. Oop. I'm in pain. Cut. Cut. Careful. Oh, yeah, he's mostly a melee character. I should be in good shape, largely. I just need to evade at the right times. Hut. 
Nope. Hook. Oh. Still totally able to attack me, though. Hook. Yep, he's in... I forgot he gets, like, into rapid mode. Oh, right about, right around now. Gonna need my stamina back. Hook. Careful. Hook. Oh. Careful. Hook. Oh, no. Oh, I died. Yeah, that one goes wrong fast. <laughs> I remember him being awkward to fight because he has a lot of really fast attacks that have a lot of range. And the AoE. Combined with the fact that he's a big, thick character, so rolling past him feels iffy sometimes. Shouldn't take that many attempts, though. I hope. Unless I just totally blow it after the first one. Alright, let's try to make this one count. I wonder who he's more vulnerable to. I guess it doesn't matter that much because I still have to alternate in order to function as a character. Because of how spellcasting works. I just burned myself. Why did I do that? I just neglected the entire reason why I normally alternate, apparently. Uh oh. Here it comes. Hup. I'll just stay back here if you don't mind. He's probably gonna kill me while I'm doing that. Oh! He came prepared! Yahoo! Quickly heal. Quickly heal. I imagine he's more uh, resistant to lightning because he uses it. Or so goes my logic. Oh. Ow. Oh. Quickly heal. Hee hee, I'm going over here now. Yep. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to go over there. You walk into my spells. Hup. Hup. Oh, quickly, a little bit of recovery here. Hup. 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 <laughs> Careful, come on. There we go. Definitely works to just maximum range him and keep shooting spells until he walks into them. I can now last him. I've got the mana and the recovery items for it. There we go. That's another 25k. That's probably... That's, that might be another three levels, especially with the bag of salt I have down there. We'll see how it goes. So I believe there should be a brand past him, right? Hello. This air. It's so still. I was drawn to this dome for reasons I don't understand. It's so lonely here. I long for a friend, but I think I've driven everyone I've loved away. Tell me, have you heard of Hardlight? You have. Then you know that without being able to set foot upon it, you'll never reach your goal? You know, I can help you with that. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yes, as I thought. Well, it's as simple as that. Accept this brand. There we go, we're three brands in now. You come here to think too, don't you? I enjoy solitude, of course, but you're always welcome to join me. I think I like to think about how meaningful my actions are. Making real change, that's what I bring to this world. Alright, so light our torch for hard light. There we go. So we're three brands in now. We have hard light for these platforms. We have our wall jump. That's not going to take me anywhere else. So we have access to hard light, we have access to our wall jump, and we have access to uh, the gravity inversion, which still weirds me out a little bit. <laughs> I mean, obviously, they have a lot of control over where the gravity thing can be used, so, that makes, so it doesn't totally break stuff or anything. But it just it is a surprise for most games that this game... Compared to most games, it's a bit of a surprise that this one... Uh, gives you gravity inversion before anything else, just because that seems like such a, a wacky late game thing. But that was probably intentional. Two levels. Not quite high enough for the next one. Let's see how close I get with the bag of sand. Uh, bag of salt. <laughs> it's only 500 now, so it's garbage. Alright, yeah, that's, an, that's, pretty, that's a pretty negligible uh, item for salt now at this point. We'll continue our progress towards the center of the spiral. 
and soon we will have those. And then after that, I guess I'll just be investing heavier into the various things I have already, like getting more and more magic points. Where it looks like we're, oh, we're at 50 now. That's pretty high. Uh, although I think it's still, I think I think 50 might be the salt, the soft cap, but I think it still does keep increasing ultimately past that. I could go down some of these little paths to gain access to uh, the pouches from other uh, class trees. I could get the ability to get different types of armor, and I could even gain access to certain weapon types, like if I wanted to become sort of some sort of sword user against certain enemies. Like, there's probably a, a melee weapon that scales well with uh, spells, and that might be a good alternative if, if I fight something that's super resistant to all spells. But only time will tell if that's a thing. Alright, so that's the Dome of the Forgotten cleared pretty quickly. Got it. 